This week's Farm Basics is brought to you by SatShot.com. Satellites aren't just for NASA anymore. Use the power of satellite imagery to create variable rate management zones in your fields. To reduce input costs and increase yields on your farm, go to SatShot.com. Well, it's been a challenging year for getting corn planted in many parts of the upper Midwest. And if you're a little bit behind on your farm and had to switch to some earlier hybrids, you may be wondering, what's the difference? Why, why are some hybrids earlier maturing well, than others? Especially if you're a non-farm viewer and you say, you know, cor isn't corn just corn? Well, there are some big differences, especially when it comes to this maturity thing like Darren is talking about. In the southern U.S., they can raise corn that takes many more days to mature, whereas in the northern part of the country, like where we farm, or even on a few acres we've got yet to throw in the ground, some of the lower, wetter areas where we just couldn't get planted earlier, we're still going to plant those to corn. And that corn has got to mature relatively quickly because we get a frost in the fall, hopefully not in September, but some years it's in September. So we really don't have a lot of days between now and then to not just get the corn plant to grow tall, but to also put a good healthy ear on and get it fully to maturity. If you think corn is corn, you are wrong. There are some corns that are gonna mature a lot quicker, but for all corns, it seems to take about the same amount of time from the day that you plant it till it gets the first two or three leaves on it. So when it's starting that early growth, most corns are about the same and take about the same amount of time. What happens with earlier maturing hybrids is after two or three leaves, they really start speeding things up. So you end up with corn plants that are growing much more quickly and that can lead to some challenges when it comes to crop production. So what Darren is saying here is the early stages from the time the corn is put in the ground until about two or three leaf stage, that's about the same for all corn hybrids. Also from tasseling, when you see the tassel come out on the top of the plant to maturity is roughly about the same for most of the corn hybrids where the big difference is, is between that two or three leaf stage up to tasseling. So those corns that are gonna make it in just a few days here in the Northern Corn Belt, they don't have a lot of time. So they really have to hurry with their growth from that third leaf stage up until tasseling. Well, when corn is growing really fast, you have to be very careful what you're doing for management and you have to try to avoid stress at all costs. So if you've got weather stress, there isn't a whole lot you can do about that. Unless you've got irrigation, you could add some water or something like that. But what I'm talking about is if you're trying to kill weeds or you're trying to kill insects or something like that. If you're out spraying anything in those crops, you need to use the safest products for the crops you possibly can. Because when crops are growing really fast, they're very susceptible to injury. Well, once again, there is a big difference in different corns that are available on the market to farmers. One of the main things that we're looking for here in the Northern Corn Belt, especially when we're planting this late in the season, is corns that are going to mature relatively quickly. And again, the big difference between those corn hybrids and the later maturing corn hybrids is from the time the corn is about at its third leaf stage up to tasseling, that's when it really hustles just to make good corn for the year. It's, I, I don't know, I, I wish there was some corn that would grow in about 30 days though, because on some of our ground, it just never seems to dry out. Well, <laughs> the tough thing about those spots that don't dry out in the fields, if you can't get crop in and you can't get crop canopy, you end up with all kinds of weeds like our Weed of the Week. We'll show you how to control this weed later in the show. <laughs> 